Hello and welcome. Um, I've decided to make another build video talking about an alternative build I have been using called the explosive uh, light build. So it's quite similar to the cyclone strike build. So what I've changed is um, I'm using way of the hundred fists with spirited salvo. So it says every activation of the skill is a 40% chance to generate six additional spirit. And um, instead of using cyclone strike, I'm using wave of light, explosive light. It says releases a burst of energy that deals 731 weapon damage as holy to nearby enemies. And um, I've got blazing wrath, breath of heaven because that increases your damage by 10% for nine seconds. I'm using um, sweeping wind cyclone. Because it says, um, surround yourself in an electrified field of vortex that continually deals 30% weapon damage as lightning to our enemies. The vortex lasts 6 seconds, blah, 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 blah. And then um, it says, while your vortex is at a maximum stack count, critical hits have a chance to spawn a lightning tornado that periodically electrocutes nearby enemies for 23% weapon damage as lightning. Each spawn lightning tornado lasts 3 seconds. And um, still using Mantra of Healing Circular Breath. Um, because it just generates an extra free spirit per second. I'm using um, Chan of Resonance because it reduces um, the spirit cost by 50% and you gain uh, two spirit every second with your mantra. And obviously the good thing with um, Mantra of Healing is that you can just um, activate it again to give yourself a 10,000 um, shield just for the sake of it. And um, I'm using Exalted Soul. It says increases maximum spirit by 100 and increases spirit regen by 2. And Guardian's Path, um, while dual wielding 15% dodge, or uh, while using a two-hander, 35% increased spirit regen. And now, one thing I've done with my Paragon points is I've put so far all of my core points into um, movement speed, just for the sake of getting around quicker. Um, all of my offensive into attack speed. All of my defensive into life regen and all of my utility into life on hit you know why not and uh, all i've done so far since 2.0 launched is i cleared through all of torment one and um, doing that i managed to increase my damage from 40,000 to 90,000 just with random pieces i picked up along the way such as this and this and this and so on and the uh, I really like these sort of items because, see, I've got these shoulders here. It says increases sweeping wind damage by 13%. I found this random belt. It says increases weight of 100 fists by 15%. So these items, I feel, are very, very useful along the way. And um, I've also, I'm sticking between around 500 to 600 all resist as well. The higher, the better. I think once you get around to 700, you're going to be more than fine. And because at the moment, I... Um, I've got 900 life per hit and I'm getting 1700 life per kill and I've got 3000 life per second. I can survive most packs quite easily. Just the general advice always is just don't stand in stuff too long so you don't take too much damage. And with all of this gear I've got um, 3866 dexed which is kind of nice. And I've also got here as you can see 133,000 health. So the stats increase in the game compared to how, how they used to be are very very high. So yeah, so let's just try this out for a while. And uh, the reason I have my key bindings like this is I, I have way of 100 fists here because I find it's a lot easier to just hold one to run around um, rather than ha having to hold left click. And then I just use my left click to activate the um, explosive light whenever I need to. Now the good thing about this build as well is that should I find that spirit is getting really low and it's not regenerating quick enough, I can reactivate my mystic ally and gain 100 spirit and I can do that every 30 seconds. So let me let me show you how that works if I just spam, spam it. So if I'm, well I need to find more monsters than this I guess. So reactivated and see I'm almost back at spirit, full, full spirit already. And the crits I'm getting, as you can see, are very high. I mean, I mean, my gear is not that good. I know there's probably a million better monks out there, but I just wanted to show the merit of this build and how reliable it is. And it's also the fact that you have the sweeping wind and you have breath of light as well, you know, as well as be able to throw up shields and so on. And as you can see, my spirit is regening quick enough for me to be able to use a wave of light like every other second even.
So right now I'm on Torment level 2. So I'm going to clear through Torment 2, see if I get any upgrades along the way, then do Torment 3 and Torment 4 and so on. And should I find any revisions to the spec along the way, then I will obviously make another video. So I'm calling this the Explosive Light build. It's really awesome. It's really easy to use. It's a good alternative to the Cyclone Strike build, uh, if you've tried out already. And yeah. So, yeah, so anyway, if you like this video, uh, please uh, subscribe to my channel. I have more videos coming soon for Diablo 3. I also have a lot of videos covering Final Fantasy Realm Reborn, and I'm going to be making videos very soon to cover the new Thief game as well. So if you like what I do and how I do it, or you have any suggestions or feedback, just please let me know in the comments. I do reply to all comments. And yeah, so thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.